Most people have four alpha genes, balanced alpha and beta globin production, and normal sized cells with the normal amount of hemoglobin per cell. When one alpha gene is deleted, it is called the silent carrier state for alpha thalassemia because it's virtually indistinguishable from having the full complement of four alpha genes. Even with three alpha genes, there is essentially balanced chain production, normal amounts of hemoglobin A produced, resulting in normocytic, normal sized cells. When two alpha genes are deleted, the condition is alpha thalassemia trait. In individuals of African heritage, there is typically one alpha loss from each chromosome. In individuals of Asian heritage, the arrangement is often loss of two genes from one chromosome. But even with only two alpha genes, there is minimal beta chain excess, a slight decrease in the amount of hemoglobin A produced, resulting in individuals with slightly microcytic cells, targets with mild or no anemia. When three alpha genes are deleted, this is called hemoglobin H disease. This condition is typically found in individuals of Asian heritage because you need to have one chromosome without any alpha genes, a configuration that is not typically found in individuals of African heritage. This results in beta chain excess and the formation of beta-4 tetramers, a poorly soluble hemoglobin called hemoglobin H that is less toxic than the alpha globin aggregates seen in beta thalassemia, so there is little ineffective erythropoiesis. Instead, predominantly hemoglobin H damages the membrane of cells in the circulation, resulting in a chronic hemolytic anemia. Less hemoglobin is formed, and the cells are microcytic and targeted. When all four alpha genes are deleted, this is alpha thalassemia. It is most commonly found in families of Asian heritage. No alpha chains are produced. Reviewing globin synthesis during fetal development, remember that normally alpha chains are produced fairly early in fetal life and consistently thereafter. Primitive embryonic alpha-like chains, not shown here, are produced transiently during very early embryonic development. Gamma production is high in the fetus, starting to switch off before birth, with beta production taking over from gamma. In alpha thalassemia, no alpha globin is produced. Early in gestation, gamma-4 tetramers, called hemoglobin BARTs, accumulate in the fetal red cells. Virtually no oxygen is released to tissues, and the fetus usually succumbs to death before or shortly after birth.